what is up guys so I found this old microwave um, probably from like the 1950s it's pretty uh pretty gross but it doesn't really matter what's in here because we want to get in you know here <laughs> um, so what I'm going to be trying to do is extract is extracting thorium from this microwave which is a radioactive element it's element 90 its um, molecular weight is really high and it helps produce the microwaves in a microwave. Um, so what I want to do is open up the microwave and extract the magnetron. So I'm just going to try and take these screws off and I will get back to you. So I pulled off two Phillips head screws but then I realized that there's a very weird screw that holds the rest of this together. Let me try and zoom in on that for you. See if it will focus. Come on, focus. See that? It's like a Phillips head, but it's like a, it's like a star mixed with a Phillips head mixed with like I don't even know. It's like some alien technology. Interesting. So um, I'm just gonna have to probably try and rip it apart by force. Not really sure what I'm gonna do, but yeah, it's coming out one way or another. So I got this crowbar right here, um, and I've been ripping off the roof, or trying to rip off the roof. So I've located the magnetron. Uh, looks like it's probably somewhere in this general area. Uh, okay, so I'm in, and you can't really see. Let me zoom in. Right back in there, see that? That little thing with the, the lines, the aluminum, that's the thing we're looking for, the magnetron. Okay, so I got that stuff out, and the, but the magnetron is right there, right there, the Williams in that. Opened up the top, put it over there, thought I'd give you guys a little bit better of a look of these old microwaves. So here it is from the side. You can see all the circuitry right in here. See that? Um, the magnetron. I'm not sure what this box is. Don't really want to touch it since I'm not sure what it is. It looks like it's wood or something, but I don't know why they put wood in here, but just saying. Uh, it's scraped. So if you know what this is, this box has like a copper wire coil in the center of it right there go straight through um, to the back. So if you know what that thing is, comment below because I'm actually kind of curious. And if you think that I can extract something from it or whatever, comment that too. So I was in the middle of taking out this magnetron and I noticed something I thought was kind of cool. Check this out. So this is the thing that's on it. And the magnetron was made by uh, LG in Korea. So I got the magnetron out. Um, right here. This is it. The thorium should be in that cylinder in there. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it out though, because this thing, there's no screws holding it together. It's all just metal. I'm going to have to cut it or something. But that's dangerous, because in this little thing right here, this is where the thorium cathode will go in to the cylinder. In this, like, this white area, and maybe a little bit further in, there could be a poison. Not really a poison you want. It's very lethal to humans, so you have to be extremely careful when you're taking apart these magnetrons. So I managed to tear the magnetron apart pretty much completely. That was all the scraps. It took a while. Right now I'm getting the thorium out, which I have in this graphite crucible. Uh, it's that stuff, those little coils. Right there, those are thorium. So let me try and get as much of it out as I can and get it in a glass vial so I can show you better. I also found these two really strong magnets. Uh, they're stuck together right now. And uh, those would be useful for something. Okay, I have finished extracting the thorium and put it in this glass container. Right, right there. Uh, that little thing right there, that circular thing, the big part, isn't pure thorium, but there's thorium inside the hole. And then those little things right there, that's all thorium. You don't get too much, but it's pretty expensive stuff and it's pretty radioactive. So keep it in glass and or lead and you'll be fine.